Well, it's a brand new day. It's day six of the Montana road trip. Last night we found a campground at Fort Peck. And we're still in Montana. So Fort Peck Lake, we stopped right here at the downstream recreational area. There's a big reservoir, a huge dam, and a power plant. Um, so if you zoom out, we made it from Glacier National Park Tuesday afternoon. We drove, well, I'd say at least a third of the way across the state <laughs> to uh, camp out right here. You know, what we have to do is keep going east. Next state is North Dakota. And North Dakota will seem like a smaller state, believe it or not, compared to Montana. If you look across, look at the uh, exit numbers from 0 to about 350. So 350 miles, that should be a piece of cake, right? Like half a day. So we're just following Route 2 all the way clear across until we get to Michigan. There we go. So from Montana, Route 2 just skirts the northern edge of the United States all the way, and then we're going to drop down into the through the Upper Peninsula into Michigan and drop off my comrade Vlad right here. And then it's just stone, stone's throw away to Pennsylvania. So I guess we're making pretty decent progress. <clears throat> There's Great Falls. There's the Glacier National Park. We made it to Glasgow last night. Today, hopefully, we'll make it somewhere. I guess Minnesota. And then Wisconsin and Michigan. And just for reference, yesterday, yesterday the entire distance from Great Falls to Glacier National Park to here was 530 miles. Um, we did spend like half the day at Glacier National Park, so I think that's a pretty good, pretty good distance there. So, I guess uh, coming back home, it's it's always a good feeling going the right way. <laughs> All right, Montana. It was fantastic visiting. And now the next state I've never been to before, actually, North Dakota. Stop by the sign and take a, maybe take a picture. There we go. Opa. We're at a truck stop here in Rugby, North Dakota, and a guy just pulled up on a loaded Duramax diesel with a horse trailer with the rear tire that was completely flat. And I saw him, you know, go for the air hose over there on the wall and then uh, start pumping it up. I'm like, well, I got tire plugs, and there was obviously a hole in it. Actually, there were two holes side by side in the tire. I wish I would have taped this. I go to get my tire plugs from my, uh, survival box and they're not there because I was using them back in Pennsylvania I forgot to put them back in here so I'm like ah yeah, I was gonna be really disappointed I was gonna help the guy out and then tell him you know sorry but I had an idea take some super glue you put it on a wood screw and put this just screw it right into the tire right into the hole two wood screws later redneck tire repair no more leaks, he pumped it up, he's on his way. He had to go 30 more miles with a fully loaded horse trailer. So, kind of improv <laughs> repair, but it worked, so I helped someone out today. Hey, 
locals around here are uh, entertaining. But yeah, keep on trucking. Actually, I did have the tire plug kit in here. I just took it out and forgot about it and then I couldn't find it in my box. So, but anyways, wood screws are cheaper than tire plugs and they work, it's just you screw it in. That's it, you don't need to ream the hole and put the plug in and stuff. Um, yeah, I think uh, that's a good solution for temporary tire repair. Long haul biker. We just stopped at a diner for uh, lunch slash dinner. He passed us like, I don't know, half an hour ago. He's cruising on the highway. <laughs> I don't know where he's going. Hundreds of miles of roads here. Next stop, we're aiming for Bemidji, Minnesota. There seem to be uh, some lakes there and good camping spots. So we'll stop a little earlier today and get some much needed sleep. And tomorrow we have another full day at least 700 miles uh, but you know if we don't make it to Michigan tomorrow uh, we'll at least make it to northern Michigan and then see how far we get but yep feels good to be getting closer to home now than uh, rather than farther away State down, Minnesota. North Dakota wasn't bad at all compared to Montana in terms of just how big it is. And we made it across North Dakota in, I don't know, like five hours, I think. It's about 350 miles, so maybe closer to six hours with food stop, but Montana takes like a day and a half to drive across that state. So we got Minnesota, Missouri, Michigan, three M's. What is this, like winter already? Once again, we lucked out with finding a campground this is in Minnesota, in Bemidji. This is Cass Lake. I mean, look at this. Tent right on the shore. It is breezy, but at least that blows the mosquitoes away. It's already 9 p.m. I think today, well, let's see how many miles we want today. So heading east, it's harder to get more miles per day because you either cross the time zone and lose an hour, or you're just tired after a you know a week on the road and you just get up like an hour later. But let's see. So trip B I set to Uh, the mileage for the day and it says 600 about 620 miles and that's the odometer and that's miles for the tank so not too bad 620 miles I'm pleased with that so we're actually gonna get a decent night's sleep today instead of going to bed at like 1 a.m. it's only 9 still have to have a little dinner but yeah, um, day, which day this is this already? Let's see, four, five, six, day six? I lost count. But anyways, have a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. on Route 2, Minnesota, camped out at Cass Lake, which is about right in the middle of the state, and started out at 8 a.m., so we're going to lose another hour today in Michigan, but I guess that's, uh, that's how it goes, driving east. Um, still 
very scenic here. It was all fields and, you know, plains. Now, this is kind of like a pine forest resort area with lakes. It's kind of nice. You know, it's still mostly flat, but a good change of scenery. And the weather is in the 60s, actually, cooled down. So, didn't go swimming this morning. So. Motorcycles towing trailers. Only in USA. <laughs> So we're uh, making a little breakfast medley here. This is leftovers from yesterday from the diner. There's some eggs benedict, some ham, a uh, couple of hot dogs that we grilled, hash browns. Mmm. Does that look good, Vladimir? Yeah. All right. So just to save some time and eat some leftovers. Enjoy. Dulles, Wisconsin, Minnesota, right on the border. You shouldn't see Lake Superior to our left. Day seven of the Montana road trip. So we're kind of winding down here. I'm actually dropping Vlad off in Michigan, but this is the Upper Peninsula, so we have another like at least half a day of driving left. And I'll show you where we are on the map here. We just passed Marquette, Michigan. So this is the Upper Peninsula. You cross uh, in from Wisconsin. So you have to cut that off, and then you come in through here, Marquette. Now we're along, driving along the shore of Lake Superior, and we just have uh, this Route 28 cuts all the way across, and then down to Route 2 across a toll bridge, and we're going to try to camp out here on in Wilderness State Park. That looks very uh, picturesque, and um, hopefully that'll be a good sight. So we have another three hours to go. Uh, let's check out the lake. It's a windy day, blustery, cloudy. It's in the 60s, low 60s. <laughs> Definitely not air conditioning weather. We actually had the heater on a little bit. Yeah, it's uh, quite the change of weather from you know, like South Dakota, 100 degrees, and here in northern Michigan it's barely 60. But, um, hopefully we'll get to the campsite soon. It'll be our last night camping out, and then I think tomorrow I do have one diagnosis scheduled in Michigan, so hopefully that'll be fun. I'll shoot some video there, and then there'll be uh, one more day to Pennsylvania. So, see you, see you then. So we're cruising on the Upper Peninsula. Very straight, flat roads, but it is scenic. We've got pine trees on both sides. So camping should be decent in this part of the country. Another couple hours to go. So we're crossing Mackinac Bridge from the Michigan Upper Peninsula to the mainland. 
Oh, we got some uh, visitors here. I think it's geese crossing the road. The truck is slowing down for them. <laughs> Into the fog. It's been foggy and rainy all day long. Not too bad, but... I guess you can't really see too much of the lake. disappears into the fog. has to say. So we're crossing the bridge, heading south, and then we'll go right along that shore and Wilderness State Park should be right on the shore. So looking forward to it. Hopefully this rain calms down a little bit.